Hi everyone, here's Kathy from Kathy Director. This is our After Effects tutorial and in this tutorial I will show you how you can create our Iron Man PDA effect with a transparent interface uh, as a cell phone. The result should look like this after it. First go and create a new composition and drag your footage in it. For the cell phone or PDA you can use a glass plate but be careful with the edges or plastic, glass or a CD cover, something where you can look through. Create a new comp, go to comp and new comp and there you can call the buttons and hit OK and when we here in it we go to layer and create a new solid. Make this solid a comp size and OK. Then click on the lips tool and hold on shift and make a circle. Call this layer whatever you like. I use button big. Open the layer and duplicate the mask can go to edit and duplicate or control D. The first mask we will make the feather to 4 and the second mask to four, to 2. So here on the second mask click on the second mask the mode to subtract and then set the mask expansion down so you get a circle like this here. Make it very small like this year and that's it. So now you can close the masks. So when you have now your two masks, click on mask one and go to edit, duplicate and duplicate your mask three. So set the mask four to subtract, open it and set the mask expansion down. So it will look like this here. Then go to mask 3 and open it and set the mask expansion down too. So it will look like proportional grind. And here we can now create the masks. Uh, we, we see that it's not, we like your pen tool and make the lines but be careful so it doesn't go in the outer circle line. So outer border. Okay, let's do this here. So make this with all your So when you have it all then go and select your line uh, masks so hold on shift and then go to the modes and switch it all to subtract. So it will look like this. We shut down this here and grind and we get this. Ooh, cool. So go and feather all of your um, lines only a bit. Let's go and create a small button on the side. So for this, go again to the pen tool and make it on the side or sign to whatever and feather is a bit too, so like that. Next go and duplicate your layer, so you have two of this. This small and this big. Yeah, we have it already. So the smaller one you hit S for scale. Scale it down so it will be in the middle of the other one. Click on the big again and uh, it should be mask 3 and go to mask feather and feather it a bit down so it will make it the same with the, with the smaller one. Next go and create a new comp and import the buttons comp. So click on your smaller button and click on R for rotation and then Pick with this with the rotation of your big one and here in comp layer blah blah you write um, times 
um, open and then minus twenty minus zero point two and close it and click somewhere and when you know go to the rotation of your big one and rotate it you can see it's rotating in the circle too make sure you hit the point here between the zero and two point not not comma I made this mistake and it was rotating too much when you go to the big one and go to the rotation tool and rotate it you can see it's rotating with a small one it's really cool now you can select both and drag them to the side and then click on the layer new text next choose your font I choose no system but in my preview I have another one choose your color it's a light blue and then go to effect text numbers click OK and now we should see this here and drag it to where you like I like this here and choose the color light blue open your big button and so you can see the rotation then go to value on your numbers uh, options here and hit alt so it get, gets an expression and with the pickwick to go to the go to the big button rotation pickwick with that and then click somewhere where you want when you now click on the rotation of your big button you can see the number is changing too and now let's do this the same with the small button so go and you can duplicate your text layer ah, stop duplicate open your small button hit R for rotation on the text layer hit alt and on the value pick this with the rotation of your small button and here we have now the second number select your big button layer and go to effects um, stylize and glow now you can play around with the glow settings uh, let's use 90 around 55 1.2 now go to effect color correction tint and switch Y to a uh, light blue go and hold on shift and go to edit copy and drag it on your small button paste copy the glow effect copy and paste it in both layers so hold and shift on both layers and then go to edit paste so one number I make white so maybe it will look like this later when you go and manage all this other stuff and now import your clip that you want to see here on the side hit S for scale and scale it down to color correct your clip to the footage it's very easy copy your tint layer go to edit copy footage edit paste now it looks like it's in a movie or something so here we have now our raw footage drag now the buttons with the numbers and stuff this competition you find it here and drag it into the new comp to the raw footage and then you should get something like this and now we want to adjust this to the screen so go to the beginning of your clip and go to the effects panel and write their corner pin distort corner pin and drag it on your buttons animation clip you will find these four points and you see it on the side here 
first go and hit the stopwatches, then drag the clips like this is the, the upper upper left pin is here and drag it to this corner and so it looks like it's on screen and then uh, do it keyframe for keyframe so go keyframe next and then um, drag the keyframes to the next position and do it in all this club or you can use mocha but I think mocha it's more difficult so do it with all uh, your club when you are finished with this you see now the thumb goes under the animation so go and duplicate your raw footage clip and drag it over your animation and I did it already and you can see here we have masks so go to the beginning of your clip choose a mask tool and make a mask around your thumb it's overlapping so but only where the screen is so like this button here when I go a bit forward you can see it the mask around you can see here I animate the left mask for the screen and the right mask for the buttons and now we can make some color corrections so you know the tint effect and another one I made a uh, black solid I dragged uh, the the ellipse tool over it and feather it so I get our vignette effect and that's uh, the whole clip then make some music and it will look great so I hope you enjoyed my tutorial and I hope you subscribe and comment what you think and maybe show me your finished clips okay see you next time bye